Hello everyone, my name is Matt and today I will be providing a more in-depth look at how to request remarks on your existing tickets inside the OneCall Access program. This video will only be covering specific features within the OneCall Access system. Due to this, we will be skipping over some portions of the OneCall Access program. We have a video on our YouTube page that provides a more comprehensive look at the OneCall Access program. If you would like more information about how to use the program to create and manage your tickets, we recommend watching that video first. I'll include a link to that video in the video description below. After a utility operator marks their underground facilities at your excavation site, it is possible for the marks to become faded or removed due to ongoing excavation, weather, or unforeseen circumstances. According to state law, it is required that your excavation site has clear and complete utility markings for the entire duration of the digging phase of the project. If the markings become removed or faded, you will need to request the utility operator to remark its facility before you can continue digging in that area. Before we can submit a remark request for an excavation site, we will need to find the specific ticket that was submitted for the work. We'll click on the History tab in the left-hand menu to view a list of tickets we have submitted. In some cases, the date ranges might be automatically filled out. If that's the case, you'll need to click on the X icon next to each date to clear it and then click Search to pull up a complete list of your tickets. We can scroll through the list of tickets until we find the right one, or we can search for the specific ticket number with the filter tools above. I'll click on Filter By and then select Ticket Number in the drop down menu. Then I will type in the ticket number in the field to the right. Again, make sure the date ranges are clear or they correspond to when this ticket was created. I'll then click search and the ticket will pop up in the table below. Then I can click on the ticket to open the confirmation window. From here, you will be able to verify that the location and work description matches the area where utility markings have faded or been removed. Once verified, I will click on the Actions button in the top right-hand corner to open up the Secondary Actions menu. With this menu open, we will click on the Remark option. If the Remark option is grayed out or not able to be clicked, there may be some other conditions with your ticket that are preventing you from taking that action. First, check to see if your ticket is expired. You can scroll down in the Ticket Details window and look at the ticket's expiration date. If the ticket has expired, you will need to create a new request for this location. If your ticket is currently active, you can check to see what the legal start date and time is for this request. You will need to wait until this date and time passes before you can submit a remark request. After clicking the remark option, a pop-up box will appear. In this box, you will need to list the utility operators on your ticket that need to remark their utility lines. You will also need to specify if that utility operator needs to remark the entire excavation site as it's described on the 811 ticket, or a specific area that is within the scope of work as outlined on this request. If you are requesting remarks in an area that is not included within the original description of your 811 ticket, you will need to submit a new request for that new area. If markings have become faded in only a specific area of the excavation project, you can request the utility operators to remark just that area. You will need to stop excavation work in the area requested until it has been properly remarked. As long as all utility markings are still present and clearly visible in the remaining portions of your excavation site, you may continue your excavation work while you wait for the specific area to be remarked. If you are requesting a specific area to be remarked, please make sure to delineate the area in question with something white before you submit the request. This will help locators to quickly and easily identify the specific area that needs to be remarked. Remember, a specific area remark request must be within the original location description of your 811 ticket. If you need an area marked that is outside of the description listed on this ticket, 
you will need to submit a new ticket for the specific area. After you have provided the required information, click Continue. This will open up the ticket entry window where you will need to confirm the ticket details, dig site mapping, and location description. As you read through the information, if it is still correct and applies to the work that you will be doing, you can click Next to move through the ticket. After you have confirmed that all the information on the ticket is still correct and agreed with the disclaimers, you can then click Submit. The ticket will then be sent to the utility operators requesting that they remark their utilities at the excavation site. The ticket confirmation window will reopen with an updated revision to the ticket number. Also, under the Ticket Details window, you will see the status of the ticket set to Remark, or R-E-M-K. You can also download a PDF copy of this ticket by clicking the Actions option, and then Download Confirmation Sheet. The requested utility operators will now have two working days, not including the date of the request, to remark the utilities at your excavation site. To summarize, if markings at your excavation site have been removed or faded, you must stop digging and request the utility operators to remark their underground lines. You will need to wait to resume the excavation work until the utility operators have responded and remarked the area that you have specified. Make sure you have clear white delineations on the ground of the area where you need remarks and that the area falls within the original location description of your ticket. Also, if you are requesting a specific area to be remarked, you are only required to stop digging in that specific area, assuming the marks are still clearly visible on the remaining portion of the job site. If you have any additional questions or concerns regarding remark requests, please reach out to our Web Operations Department at weboperations at usan.org.